Hello everyone, today I want to show you uh, my new layout uh, I have created with my new beautiful pastel spring collection. Uh, to start off, I have chosen my paper, I put a layer of clear gesso and dried it. This is the first layer of each of my mixed media layout. Uh, I have prepared some acetate transparency flowers, uh, which I have painted with acrylic gold ink. Uh, I also put a layer of stencil, uh, you can see the pastel spring stencil with modeling paste, and I have also stamped some flowers with a pastel spring uh, stamp set. So this is my uh, first step uh, I want to show you, and we will be moving on from that. Uh, so uh, just play with the stamps and uh, choose your favorite stencil from this collection and use it with modeling paste. And uh, before we will go to the, other, to the next step, uh, please dry your page uh, very carefully so we will not ruin our stencil design and the paper is still a little bit wet. So um, next off we will be choosing uh, our elements and start building our page. Uh, so, as you can see, I have already started to attach my elements. Uh, this transparency acetate is also from Pastel Spring Collection, so just cut off your flowers and use acrylic gold glitter ink to color it. I did it uh, underneath, so you can still see the, the glitter. And uh, then you can uh, attach it using a gel medium. Uh, after that, just try to match your elements. I use everything from the same collection. So this is very easy with 30 knots that you have everything you need and everything matches um, to each um, um, element. Uh, so if you buy the whole collection, you, um, you have a guarantee that everything matches perfectly and you can just choose the elements you want. Um, for this layout, I have chosen um, blue and yellow uh, shades. So I did not use any pinks from this collection. Uh, so you can see this collection is also very versatile. So you can actually create many different uh, colors, many different shades, but it's still very spring. Uh, you can feel the spring mood. You can uh, you can um, choose the flowers and everything uh, which is in spring mood. So uh, you can uh, use ephemeras, you can cut out some elements from a, from a die cut paper. And um, as you can see, I also used uh, some chipboards and the chipboards I like to paint uh, if you want it to be white uh, with acrylic ink white, also from Ferdinand's. Everything I used here is from Ferdinand. So if you would like to buy uh, this collection or mixed media products, you can go to 13arts.pl and just make your order. Okay, so I am now attaching everything to my page. I use 3D foams and I use gel medium for other, uh, for other elements. Uh, I just build layers and I try to keep everything around my photograph. And uh, to add some colors, I have chosen this time watercolors, the small sets. We have in Farting Arts two sets. One is called Down Under and one is called Travel the World because they are matching uh, these two collections. But of course, you can use them for many other projects. So I'm using yellows, uh, green and turquoise shades and also a little bit of dark blue. Um, and I uh, add a lot of water because I really want this watercolor beautiful effect on my page. Uh, so I'm just playing with watercolors and I also use the same acrylic ink gold glitter for splashing. Uh, this is the same ink we have painted um, the acetate before. Uh, when it's all done, you have to dry your page and uh, you can add a little bit of more uh, glitter. To do that, I put some gel medium in few spots and then I have applied 
glitter. This is a hexagon glitter. It's a little bit bigger than regular glitter. So it all um, looks beautiful. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial and see you next time. Bye-bye.